Hey guys, welcome back to Digestive Chemistry and uh, we're going to take a look at how we can use Benedict's solution to help identify simple carbohydrates. So the first thing we need, of course, is our jar of Benedict's solution, the pretty blue one, okay? Even a more brilliant shade of blue than the Virets. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show how this works for simple or reducing sugars, but not for starch. So right here, I have a test tube filled with a simple sugar. Where is it? There it is. In the form of soda. It's uh, Sierra Mist. And it's not the sugar-free one. It's the one that is full on sugar. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a second test tube and I'm going to fill it with starch. So the starch is going to be my control. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a mill of my Benedict solution and I'm going to add it into my starch solution and I'm going to take a mill of my Benedict solution and I'm going to add it into my simple sugar solution. So now I have one that has Benedict's and simple uh, sugar, or reducing sugar. I have one that has Benedict's and complex sugar, or starch. Now I'm going to take both these test tubes and put them in some boiling water. So, excuse me a moment while I go do that. So we've boiled our solutions and what I have here, ah, don't spill, don't spill, don't spill. Okay. Sorry about that guys. So I have my container of boiling water here and when I pull my two test tubes out, this one here with the S on it, this was the starch and the Benedict solution. And you can see nothing's changed. It's still blue. Now, when I go ahead and show you the test tube that had the simple sugar in the form of the Sierra Mist and the Benedict solution, now look what's happened. The, in that boiling water, it's turned from that blue shade to this brilliant neon orange. And this is a positive reaction for Benedict's solution. This is our way of proving that there's a simple solution, or rather a simple sugar present here. So again, just to compare those for you, ah, let me put this down, that's hot. Um, hot, 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 from boiling, but once again, this one had the starch. There is no color change. This one had the Sierra Mist, the simple sugar in it. And look at that brilliant color change. Okay. Think about what you could do with this in, in medicine. Suppose you had somebody come in who you were afraid was diabetic. Maybe they have sugar in their urine. You could go ahead and mix some of their urine with some Benedict's solution put it in a little cup of boiling water, and boom, if it turns brilliant orange like that, you are very justified in spending more of their money to see if they're diabetic, because that means they have sugar in their urine, right? So yeah, there's some actual uses for this stuff. So okay, hope you guys enjoyed that. That's definitely one of the, the prettier tests, and uh, that about wraps it up for digestive chemistry. Thanks again. Bye now.